It was only a couple of years ago, the likes of Cam Hart, Jack Callion and Josh Gallagher, the emerging stars. Now the trio are certainly stars in their own right. The new breed are starting to come through now and two of the young drivers celebrated milestones in recent weeks, Slayton Green and Jack Brown. And I caught up with the two young guns to congratulate them on their achievements. Well, Aiden, congratulations. 18 years of age, two years into your driving, 100 winners. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Can't thought we've had all the support I get, so thank, big thanks to them. Wonderful achievement. As I mentioned in the introduction, we've had the established stars come through now. Cam Hart, Jack Callaghan, Josh Gallagher. You're two of the new breed. Yeah, certainly. No, they drive it pretty good, so if we can follow them, that'd be great. As far as the concession driver's total is concerned, 30 winners this season and 69 placings. So consistency is certainly a focal point. Yeah, definitely. Well, now that McDowell's are back, so hopefully that can um, increase, so that'll be good. Yeah, we're going to talk about the team McDowell being back in action. And, Jack, congratulations on your Metropolitan winner just two weeks into having your licence. No, nah, thank you. No, it's a pretty big thrill and um, to get it on my boss's horse and um, we all put in the hard work so now it's a really good um, feat. BK Spy, very talented mare. She likes being held up and just swooshed down the outside. Did you think you arrived? Oh, it was tight but um, nah, she put really knuckled down the last 200 metres and um, she got there on the line. Mike Clayton, you've been very consistent as far as this season's driving. 26 winners and 38 placings on the driver's concession list. Yeah, no, I've had a best season to date so far and getting plenty of opportunities off different trainers this season. So, no, if we can keep it rolling, I'll be happy with that. Well, can you keep it rolling on Saturday night? In the opening event, you've picked up a drive for Belinda McCarthy. Made you jealous. Very game second last week to Jazzy Starr. You drove the ideal dance in that particular race. Yeah, no, it was a tough race, that race. And um, she it sat outside the leader, come at about the mile marker, I think, and um, sat outside the leader. So, no, it was going really good. And um, when it was in Queensland, it ran a really big mile. So back to the mile this week, I think. And um, hopefully it'll be too good for these ones. Over to race two, number seven, the ideal dancer with the boss, Jack Trader in the sulky. Yeah, Jack back in the card. I think it's a bit of a drop down in class from the 95 to 80. So um, hopefully um, he'll be thereabouts and I'm um, hitting the line super. Uh, Jack Trader drove Orcus Stride last week in the race, won by BK Spide, led and just faded over concluding stages. She has drawn wide. Yeah, she has. Um, she uh, has been going really good. She had four wins next to her name the week before that. But um, no, hopefully she can come out of the gate good. If we take a sit or not, I think she'll be running a really good race. Yeah, she does look hard to beat. Jack also takes the range behind Lombo Heaven in race eight. Yeah, he was a little bit unlucky last start. He let one go and it um, just faded up the straight and... Once he got out, he, the momentum was already gone. So hopefully he can jump to the front and get to the fence and um, keep rolling at a solid tempo. He likes it that way, and hopefully it'll be Lombo Heaven's week. And you've picked up the drive on Uncle Jay. Yeah, Uncle Jay is a good old horse, and um, hopefully we can um, pick up a check or something for Mark Lafay. Yeah, I must be pleased in the fact not only you're driving for one of the leading stables with a Jack Trainer, but you also pick up a lot of drives now for outside trainers. Yeah, it's really good, and um, it's good to see Sheen as a driver and other people put me on, so no, I'm uh, very thankful for all the drives I'm getting at the moment. Well, unfortunately, late, we won't be seeing you in action on Saturday night, but it must be pleasing the fact, as you pointed out, T McDowell back in action after those horrid floods, and they had a lot of horses go around to Penrith on Monday night at the trials. Yeah, we had a few go around. Um, the one that opened my eyes up was uh, gliding away. He tried real good. Um, and um, Betty Jones, he, he tried real, real, real well as well, so hopefully they two come to Saturday night shortly. Play Fitzpatrick drove Bertie Jones, you drove uh, Prince of Peace. Yeah, he, he's lo very long grade, he's still a maiden, but we've always had a big opinion on him, he's just had a few problems, but he's come back strong, so hopefully he can go through his grades. Now, a horse that you certainly have a great association with, and I know you love this type of horse. Black Onyx, he trialled with Picasso, they're both dead heated. Yeah, no, we're setting him up for the bigger races. Um, not too sure if he'll go into the Derby or not next week at Bankstown, but if he does, I'm sure he'll um, be one of the main ones to be in that race. And ladies, as we've mentioned, it's good to see uh, the McDowell's back in action once again. Strong supporters of Harlem's Racing, as we know, both the sponsors, owners, and with the runners. The fact that they had their horses back at Penrith on Saturday, not all indications now that they over the bad part of the floods. Yeah, we're all back to normal now. The, the track's back and the property's back, so now we can get the work into them and get them back. So looking forward to more the race. So we'll be seeing you in action on a lot more regular basis now. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, for sure. Well, gentlemen, thanks for joining me, Leighton and uh, Jack. Congratulations on those little milestones at the moment. Plenty of work still ahead of you, but certainly small steps, and uh, no doubt we'll be seeing you in the big time in coming years. Thank you. Oh, thank you.